last spring I shot a video trying to compare the size of my 13 meter radius board at that time to the actual turn shape that it made. So I made a turn, measured it with my boot size, boot steps, and did my best to find out the that was the diameter and then divided by two, the radius of that. So uh, here is this video and then I will talk about the results of it. And while watching this, try to take a guess of what the radius might end up being. What is up everybody? How you doing today? Ooh, I got no friends so I get to just put on my tunes when it's no, no one around me and just been tearing up this run. It has been really good snow. Uh, so yeah, but uh, down there, someone in the comments actually asked how my 13 meter radius board the turn shape actually compares to what the radius is. So uh, I, I kind of cut towards the side of the hill down there where there's a uh, fresh groomer still and made a really nice clean heel side carve and uh, it's probably not gonna get ran over because it's not in a busy area. So I'm gonna go measure it out with my feet and compare the radius of that compared to the 13 meter radius I'm on. See how directly correlated they are. Um, but first, yeah, let's maybe make the best back-to-back -to -back toe side layout carves I've ever done. Oh, lost it. I was so close. All right, here's the track, and I think this is kind of the middle point, so I'll take the diameter. All right, basically almost 56 steps across. Um, but yeah, here's the track. Nice clean line. This will be interesting. I wonder what it will be. Best back to back, laid out toe side carbs. Take two. And so the uh, turn shape of that one's actually a bit bigger than normal. Uh, I can tighten that radius by tilting the board on edge or driving more pressure into it. That's kind of the big version, but it's a pretty nice clean one. I'll show you the uh, turn that I did to make that one. And then I should probably do it on the toe side too, measure it, just for, ex just for experiment's sake. And now let's measure this toe side. Fifty-four, which uh, I think makes sense. Uh, I uh, that's kind of more of an aggressive turn, with really driving my toes down as hard as I can, not laying it out. So slightly tighter radius. So uh, yeah, I'd say that's kind of the natural shape that this board wants to do. Um, yeah, if I want to tighten it up, I can really just jump and slam into my turns a heck of a lot harder. But yeah, for that type, uh, let's compare how these radiuses work for science. All right, that was shot last spring, so uh, it's about time I finally do this measurement. I'll use the self-grooming snowboard here. It's the starting point. And the broom is the end point. I'll measure it up. All right, hopefully you have made a guess of how large, if the radius would be larger, smaller, or what kind of meter radius it would, the actual turn from those would be. So the results are in. To the nearest tenth of a meter from my best guess of how, how I measured it, uh, the first heel side turn was 8.6 meters. So substantially quicker 
than the 13 meter radius of the board, which makes sense because you're tilting the board on edge and then decambering it, so it makes a tighter turn shape. And if I want to tighten that up a lot more, then I apply tilt it and apply a lot more pressure, decambering it more, and can really make it turn a lot quicker than that style of carved turn. Um, and then for the toe side, it was 8.3 meters. Um, so yeah, even tighter, because yeah, I tilted my board on edge harder and purposely tried to make it, I guess, a, maybe a slightly sharper turn. But uh, yeah, that uh, ends up kind of being what it is. So. All right, it's so about body issues there. Well, thank you guys for watching. Happy shredding. Hit that like button and kapla! Yeah, I got brutal.